In StatPro, it's now possible to export models to Adena. We do this through the usual file menu, import export option, and we now have a new command button which allows us to export the Adena input file. We click on it and we will be allowed to specify if we want to keep the same vertical axis or change to, for instance, Z in this case, which I'm going to select. That has created the Adena input file. We click OK to close the dialog. We navigate to the Adena user interface and from the file menu, open batch, we can open the input file that we've just created in stat. We locate the file and open it. We see that this will import the model with the whole uh, geometry, cross sections, supports, material properties, and so on. In this case, I'm going to perform a, a dynamic analysis. It's going to be the an earthquake excitation. So I'm going to change to, I'm going to switch to a dynamic implicit option. We're going to define um, some time steps. In this case, we will have 800 time steps of 20 milliseconds each, which gives us a total solution time of 16 seconds. Next, I'm going to define the loading. It will be a, a, an earthquake excitation defined as a mass proportional loading. So from the type, load type list, select mass proportional, and we're going to define a, a unit vector in the x direction, the horizontal x direction. So the magnitude will be one, and the dimension, the direction vector will be one, zero, zero. We need to associate a time function to that mass proportional load. It's a time function one that we need to define. And we can do this from the control menu again, time function, and this will open up the dialog where we specify our earthquake time function. In this case, we can import a, either a text file or a CSV file. We already have our um, accelerogram defined in a CSV file. So if we craft this, we can see that is the shape of the earthquake in time domain. We can close the screen and click OK to close the time function dialog as well. We just need now to define some dumping before we are ready to solve the analysis. We do this again from control analysis assumptions, and we're going to have some Rayleigh dumping coefficients, which we will apply to every time step, and we've pre-calculated as 0.65 for alpha and 0.004 for beta. We click OK, and we are now ready to solve the analysis. We're going to do this as usual. We're going to create a Adena data file that can be, uh, can be read by the solver and run the solution, and that will open our Adena structures window. I'm not going to show, of course, all 800 time steps. I fast forward it a little bit. But we can see that it's taken one minute and six seconds to solve the 800 time steps. We can now close the Adena structures um, window, and we can switch to the post-processing interface where we can visualize the results. I'm going to open the porthole file that we've just created with results. Usually I like changing the color to something I'm comfortable with, so to the tree view zone whole model I'm going to select a slightly darker color and what I want to see next is the deformed shape, how the structure is responding to this particular earthquake excitation. I'm going to um, apply a magnification factor to the deformed shape so we can better appreciate and observe how the structure is uh, deforming and, and displacing. So I'm going to choose a factor of 10, and now we can better see the structure's deformed shape. If we skip, we move to the next time steps, we see how the structure is responding. But I'd like to have an animation of the entire uh, solution. So we can, for instance, create an um, AVI file. I'm going to choose my model folder where I want to save the animation. I'm going to define 45 frames per second and save. That's it. So we navigate to the uh, folder where we have the animation and we are just now ready to open it up and, and see the whole response of the structure to this earthquake over the full solution time, which was 16 seconds. 
with this animation, we conclude this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.